only 68 miles away. Bruins nearly 1,500 D1 wins. The Highlanders, seven. It's their first year in Division I, by the way. First half, they get it going. Lloyd Cook for three. Jason Perkins for three. And Ted Bell for three. And guess what? We're tied at 28 at halftime at Pauley Pavilion. More trouble for UCLA, but they get it going in the second half. Jason Capono knocks down a three. He had 18. UCLA up by nine. Then it's Matt Barnes as he finishes off a 16-0 Bruins run. And Steve Lavin's team avoids another upset. UCLA winning 65-50. Riverside with 20 turnovers in this game. A season-low 65 points for the Bruins, who are still without freshman point guard Cedric Bozeman. He's gone four to six weeks after having surgery to repair torn cartilage in his right knee. Villanova and Penn. Tie game, seconds left in regulation. Villanova with a chance to win it. Andrew Sullivan will get in position, but his three no good. We go to overtime. 24 seconds left. Villanova down one. Gary Buchanan taking it strong. Buchanan, 22 points, 11 boards. Villanova by one. Following Penn possession, Penn down by one. Andy Toole. Toole. Key. 21 points for Toole. He'll go to the line after hitting the free throw to tie it. Toole will hit the second. Penn led by one. Reggie Bryant. His shot will be blocked. And then Ugana Unyekwe would block that. And that's it. Penn. Another big win over a major conference. On Cheney, two Hall of Fame coaches. Mike Dunleavy is going to take us through the first half. Mike? We came out tonight with a lot of energy. Uh, we were really focused, and uh, you know we got up, going up and down, and uh, some guys were able to hit some threes, and we kind of uh, you know blew it open at the beginning. And blow it up they would. Jason Williams, Casey Sanders. You know, Mike, you did so well the first time. How about again? Kind of got going. Guys found me uh, in the corner and up top, and uh, got on a roll there in the first half. Speaking about getting on a roll from three, four and nine from three-point range was Mike Dunleavy, and then later in the first half. Dunleavy, just like he said, from up top, 8 of 15 from the field, Duke up 13 at the break. Duke continued to hit from deep. A season-high 13 three-pointers for them. Chris Duhon, 11 assists. That one for Daniel Hewing. Later in the half, Jay Will. Jason Williams, six three-pointers in this game, and then more of Mike Dunleavy. Tying a career high with 24 points, he also had 10 boards. And Duke dumps on Temple. Jason Williams, Mike Dunleavy combining for 50 points and 20 rebounds. That's the sixth win in seven meetings for Coach K against fellow Hall of Fame coach John Cheney. Does Duke ever let its guard down? No. The Blue Devils have won 98 of the last 99 games against unranked teams. 12th ranked Kentucky taking on Virginia Military. First half, Kentucky pushing it up the floor. Tayshawn Prince, 21 points, 10 boards. Later in the first, it's Prince getting to keep Bogans. 16 points, six boards, three assists for Bogans. Wildcats still running strong. Eric Daniels, pretty touch pass to Marvin Stone. 13 points for Stone. More first half action off the steal. J.P. Blevins. Feeling it? BMI looks short. Mm-hmm. They also had 23 turnovers. Really? Second half, Tayshawn Prince. Enough said. Kentucky out-rebounding VMI 50-28 to in the victory. Kentucky. Spartans and Gators in Gainesville. First half Wednesday, Florida pressing. Brett Nelson knocks it away. But Darius Halton gets it back to Nelson, and it's 27-20 Florida. Still in the first, Gators continue pressing, and it works again. David Lee deflects the ball off the inbound. Halton picks it up. He's fouled trying to convert Florida. would go up 16 after the free throw. Later in the first, Matt Bonner cleaning up. Nelson's miss. Bonner, 18 of his career high, 23 before the half to second half now. Look, they forgot all about Nelson up there in the corner, and he's open for three. He had 15. Gators up by as much as 20, but the Spartans come back. Marcus Taylor for three. He led MSU with 17. Then it's freshman Kelvin Torbert knocking one down. He had 15 points. Michigan State gets within seven in the final minute. 20 seconds to go. Chris Hill for three. Four quick threes get the Spartans within four with 18 seconds left. Torbert steals Hill to Adam Bollinger, and this will make it a one-point game. It's not there. Bollinger rebounds, though. That gets blocked. Last chance is uh, an air ball, and Willie Donovan's Gators hang on. 74-70 after losing last season's rematch. Four years, and it was a great one. They should do it more often. Seconds remaining in the first half. Hoyas up by two. They're up by five. Joe Riley hitting there. 35-30, Georgetown at the break. Second half tied at 35. Jamel Bradley. He had 16. 
Gamecocks up by two. Now tied at 39. Bradley for three. Open the foul. They missed the free throw. Gamecocks up by three. South Carolina now up two. Mike Sweetney gets hacked, still hits. Hoyas up one after the three point play at 20 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. Now South Carolina down one. No longer. Chris Warren puts him up one. Now South Carolina down two off the missed free throw. Tony Kitchings, the putback. We're tied at 65. He had 12 off the bench. Down two, South Carolina. Less than two minutes to go. Aaron Lucas, the huge three. 11 points, seven assists. Gamecocks up by one, but Kevin Braswell, ice in the veins. From just inside the arc with the game tied at 68. One last chance for the Gamecocks. No! And Dave Odom is bumming. Boy, has pulled out 70 to 68. Braswell, who had been in foul trouble much of the game, ends up as the hero. Finished with 13. 24 lead changes in all in this one. Neither team ever led it by more than five points. Hoya shot nearly 55%. Third ranked Missouri trying to put a whooping on its third SWAC opponent of the season. Southern. Let's shoot threes. Cream rush. Clarence Gilbert. There is Clarence chucking it. You better get out there and guard old Clarence. Cream and Clarence just kept chucking along as the Tigers shot 17 of 30 from three-point land in this game. 57% rush for three at 20 in the first half. Rush and Gilbert, four threes apiece. Tigers led 56-38 at the break. So smooth by the Big 12 preseason player of the year. Second half, Missouri up 43. Wesley Stokes, Ricky Paulding. They're not the drama club here. Stokes had 11 assists, grew some hair. Gilbert 29, Rush 25. Mizzou wins at 117-67. Woof, woof, bow wow. Gonzaga, Fresno State. They're both Bulldogs. John Stockton at the forum to watch Alma Mater and see Dan Dickow do that. Gonzaga by three. Later in the second, Fresno State down eight. Melvin Eli back playing after some eligibility issues inside for two of his 25. He also had 11 rips. A little less than four minutes. Gonzaga by four. Dickow for three. He had a season high 29 points. 20 of those after intermission. Stockton's pleased. They win at 87 77. Zags only its seventh win and 21 tries against a ranked opponent in school history. 87 points, matching their highest point total ever against a ranked team. Fault trying to beat Alma Mater, USC. Eight seconds to go. The wave down 277 75. Jimmy Miggins. Craig Lewis, bank shot. Thank you for three. The dying up 78 77. USC, one last chance. Eric Craven falls short. The wave went at 78-77. They sweep the L.A. schools, Trojans and Bruins in a week. Good week. Number 23, Memphis and Old Miss. Dewan Wagner came in averaging 23 a game. Wagner, no here. Kelly Wise taken out of the starting lineup by John Calpari because he didn't like his effort, but given some effort there, Memphis up one. Next possession, Justin Reed follows and the foul. Calipari a bit edgy. Old Miss by two. And then Wagner straight out of Camden and blocked by Derek Allen. And Ole Miss pulls off the upset, 69-67. SC State at number 22, Wake. Moses Malone, Jr. And SC State looking for their second win of the season. Darius Singailis with 25. And then Steve Lepore, Ali Oops for Antoine Scott. And Jamal Levy going behind the back to Scott again. Oh, we're having a show here, people. Finally, Scott going baseline. Wake Forest wins this thing, 115-75. Well, which is okay because Luke Whitehead is playing basketball and playing well. Luke Whitehead, this is for you. Spot Shadow, plays defense, forces the turnover, hustles down the floor, is rewarded for the hustle. Great bounce pass, gets the bucket, caps a 17-love Louisville run. Whitehead had 15 in the game, and I'm sorry, but the road is rough, rough stuff. Wisconsin-Milwaukee coach Bruce Pearl is, is sweating. Minnesota and Georgia. Steve Thomas, the sweet pass to Ezra Williams. Who's better than Ezra? Oh, check that out. Not even looking. Georgia up by 15. Later in the first, Jarvis Hayes going to the offensive glass and tipping it home. Then Georgia in transition. Thomas to Richard Weehunt. And he hunted that one down. Georgia up 11 at the break. And then finally, Hayes again. He had 18. Georgia wins by 20.